everybody, welcome back to some more Planet Coaster. Make sure you leave a like if you are enjoying the series and want to continue to see more in the future. I took you guys' feedback from last time, so this should be a little bit slower than last time. Hopefully a little better, or a little easier to follow along since the uh, 12 times speed was quite a bit faster. This is more like 9 or 10 times speed somewhere in there so should be a little bit easier to follow along today i'm working on two separate areas this first one i wanted to actually put a ride in our theme park our medieval themed theme park because we had, don't have any rides in it yet and i wanted to have it kind of in a raised up area over here with a cool little retaining wall so i'm just uh, flattening the ground up there and then positioning the path over here in such a way that it kind of goes up and around and then i'm starting to work on this retaining wall uh, basically, I just wanted something again that I could just easily copy and paste along the way kind of fill in the area Because I have said before in the past in this park I want to do well Maybe not specifically in this park, but at least in future parks I want to work more with multi-level designs where I actually have different levels of the park going up and down things like that And so this is the kind of start on that. It's very slight It's only like the height of may maybe the height of another person walking by or it's a full wall So it's over a person's head so nothing too big too far or so far, but yeah, it's it's a good start. Then just filling in the entrance there, or the, the the stairway up, as we usually do, trying to fill in this area. I wanted to see if we could fit like a tree there or something, but nothing was really working, so I just filled it in with wood and doing the same thing over here. And for the ride, I I had some trouble thinking of the actual theme. Like, did I just want to make oh just a medieval theme? Because I looked at a couple things there. I looked at this guy right here, which is kind of like a like a witch's tree with flying pigs and things like that, so it's very fantasy themed or very fairy tale themed. And I've been conflicted about doing fairy tale themes because uh, that is actually the next theme that we're going to be adding in the game. Hopefully, in Alpha Three, we'll be getting fairy tale themes. Right now, it's pretty much just planet coaster themed stuff and pirate themed stuff, and they're going to be doing fairy tale stuff soon. I know that they've been sharing a lot of images and stuff. But I do want to talk about what I'm doing right here. I'll go back to the fairy tale stuff later. I wanted some sort of village, so I went with the fairy tale route, some sort of creature village, like maybe Smurfs or Dwarfs or some sort of little creature that lives in these little rock huts. And initially it wasn't look looking too well, like this second one I built I didn't really like, uh, but the first one, and then once I start using the standardized small windows, came out pretty cool. I thought this was a really fun little idea. So you can imagine, like you don't actually see any of the creatures, but you can imagine some sort of little fairy tale or mystical creature lives here. I'm thinking like little dwarves or trolls or something and these very itty bitty rock houses just kind of intertwin er, intertwining in between uh, the paths and everything going into the ride and then look at this we have a two-story one over here kinda looks like a face. Cormac just walked in and gave me his bone. I'm sorry buddy I can't play right now I gotta talk about playing a coaster and all this good stuff and then I needed to fill in these areas just because it wouldn't really make sense if the rock was or the, the door had like a gap in between and then we did our little chimney, chimney on top. Looks pretty cool. Little metal beam with the smoke FFX. And then we decided to take out those windows and replace them with just these little ones because I think they kind of match the theme a little bit better. And I accidentally unpaused the game at some point. I think I did it to look at the smoke. Then I realized, oh wait, it's going to go nighttime. So we'll go nighttime for a little bit. Should not be that long. I think I remember the next day to pause it so we can actually keep the daylight up. Cormac, stop that. Stop it! He's chewing on his bone. I just I have clean clothes on the floor. Well, they are clean, but he was chewing his bone on top of him. It's not that healthy. Okay, so now we're kind of raising the ground around this uh, to kind of surround it a little bit more, and we actually end up turning that whole thing into uh, part of this little rock village where we just throw some windows on the side. So you can think of this as kind of the entrance to the rock village. You had to fill in in the area, and it does help if you take the door and kind of sink it down a little bit, because then it feels a little bit more believable as like some sort of creatures like especially if they're smaller because then the doors is uh, not as high makes sense right add a little sand pass through so you can kind of see their little uh, trails of where they're going and along here I wanted like a basically a wooden fence because I wanted you not really be able to see this just walking by and so we're taking all these planks and stuff and it actually came out looking pretty good like a nice little wooden fence and for some reason it wouldn't let me add that piece over there but that's okay we can just throw that in later they're just kind of sticking out a little weird. But all in all, this design came out pretty cool. I'm liking how this fence looks. It's a good way to block up the area because I kind of want kind of want it to just be seen by the people actually going into the ride because it's all meant to be viewed from the actual queue line. So that's the whole point of that. Then going around this corner is a little annoying because we had to take all these little wooden pieces and just kind of bring them over and across. Came out. Okay, look at King Coaster there. 
He's so happy looking. And that path was a little funky looking. I don't know if you saw that. So I decided just to move that back a little bit. But this line fills up super fast. Look how full the line is already. It makes sense. I mean, it's the only ride in the park right now. Right now, we just have the ride. Uh, this ride right here, we have the, uh, the, the hat stand, and the food stand, and the drink stand. And that's pretty much it. So we're just continuing to work on the era. And I forgot to mention this in the last episode, guys. But I don't really have a name for this park yet. I, I need your help with that. I want something actually, something creative and something that represents or goes well with the the medieval or renaissance theme so something that would go well with that they'll just call it like cormac park or something like try and think of something that actually fits with the theme that's what i'm going for so i'm enlisting you guys' help uh make sure if you have any ideas for that leave a comment Some, something medieval theme so knights kings castles fantasy old timey stuff bubonic plague you know those sorts of fun things i don't know Oh man, just filling in the air over here. I'm really liking these red bushes. I, I wasn't using them too much in our old park, but if you just use them sparingly, it looks pretty cool. So let me go and we paint the rest of that. Toss some windows, another door on that, so you can kind of imagine it's a, the large creature hub, or their main building, <laughs> kind of in the cliffs there. I, I, I want to think of them as dwarves or something, just because we are building them out of rocks and everything, and that's kind of the standard go-to for dwarves, right? They live underground, live in, in rocks. Maybe like Smurf Dwarfs, where there are like not quite as small as dwar or Smurfs, pretty small. I don't know, maybe like two feet tall or something? Because Smurfs are like a couple inches tall, right? I'm pretty sure they are. I don't know. But then we finish up the fantasy area. Uh, that ride could use a name too. Maybe like uh, Smurf Village or <laughs> Dwarf Village or something. I don't know. But now we're working on a stage. If you've ever been to a Renaissance Fair, Renaissance, Fest Renaissance Festival, this is something very common. They have stages where they have act actors come out and do plays and perform and things like that. And so I found a couple cool little images of different sort of Renaissance Festival stages that I decided to try and recreate over here. So right now we're just working on the main stage area. Basically it's going to be made up of three buildings so we can get the angles right. Uh, we're going to have the main building and then you're going to have the building kind of uh, 30 degrees off of it to the left and 30 degrees off of it to the right. So basically just build one and then just try and copy the other one over. Wanted to expand the stage a little bit more. And, but not too much. We wanted like one and a half floor. So luckily, since the buildings can't intersect, no problem there. Maybe we just build the back of the stage. Easy peasy. And right here, I'm just kind of lining up in a row. Wait, I want this at an angle. So we just move it over. Mm. I'm drinking a watermelon EG. It's like, it's like a slushy, basically. You know, I wanted to try and follow the guide of those roofs. Uh, but with, with all these pieces, it'd be a little tough to do that curve. With the planks and stuff, I could do the curve, but for this one, I decided to just go with a straight one. And it was actually, uh, one of the viewers suggested this. They said, hey, check out the back of the, uh, the, the Chief Beef wooden sign. You know, find a pretty cool wood texture. So we did. We found this one. It looks pretty cool. Nice wooden plank textures. Looking alright. So then we're just able to copy it over. No problem, even though I end up deleting that because I do a lot more detail. I'm just like, wait. If I'm going to do a lot more detailing, why would I bother doing that on both sides when I can just do it on one and then copy it over to the other? So, I come to that realization relatively soon, at some point, hopefully. I'll be like, wait a second, what's going on here? Why am I detailing this twice? Well, I was having so much trouble with this because it wouldn't line up. <laughs> at some point, I do realize it, trust me. I, 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 I wise up to my own forgive. There, there we go. To my own stupidity. There we are. Then just working on detailing this guy, adding the sort of the horizontal beams and the vertical beams, make it look like an actual structure. Uh, there are some diagonal beams that you see a lot in these sorts of buildings, where they have the horizontal, the vertical, and the diagonal. So a lot of it is those cross beams. I didn't add to this one just because the sample image I was looking at did not really have those. So we'll probably try that soon in the future. Right now we're just filling in this gap here using these uh, wooden fence pieces. Which I've been using a lot. I've been using them on the horizontal pieces and then filling in areas like this. I could have just used the driftwood again, but I decided I had to try something a little different. Uh, we used the driftwood on the main park entrance building earlier. That's where we kind of got the inspiration for that. So we copy that over, then I realize, oh wait, I should probably fill this in too. Just kind of wiggling it back and forth, make sure it fits there. No problem. Realize since we, that side wasn't exposing on this side, it had to be nice and detailed. And then we start working on the actual seats, the benches. Oh wait, no, this isn't the benches, this is a staircase. That's right, so I have a very steep staircase kind of going up to the stage. Kind of a little too steep, but no one's actually going to use it, so we're fine. 
it's all good. Then wanted to add a little bit more height to the middle to kind of uh, draw everything in, draw your eye in. So we build those blue uh, 45 degree angle roof pieces and then just kind of slap the Chief Beef sign. It looks so stupid from the bottom just because you just see Chief Beef, Chief Beef, Chief Beef. Hashtag Chief Beef Belief. But it looks kind of dumb from the bottom, but luckily we won't actually be able to see it from the bottom. So all good in the hood. Filling that in there, kind of leaving a little bit overhanging just so it sticks up a little bit, a little lip. And then this was a little problem because it kept glitching through. You'll see at some point, whenever I zoom out, there you go, you can see it through the building. And it's kind of annoying, so I just have, kept having to go in there and move the pieces back. I think the rest of them I did off camera, so don't worry. Uh, once you zoom out, you actually cannot see those anymore. Trust me. Looking good, looking good. Now we're working on the benches. So again, just using these driftwood pieces. We made some rudimentary benches. And it's, it's tough to tell because you can't actually build it. So you put the little building block below the floor, but you can't actually build it like that. So basically what you have to do is try and guess the height it will be once it's actually underground. It's not too hard though. And then we're adding a little path elements through. I, I, I tried off camera later actually having a, a, a path go up there, one that the characters actually take. Uh, like we did the natural path. It just didn't look very good. Uh, the the visitors in the park will never actually go there because there's no attraction. So unfortunately, they will they'll never actually go to it. Maybe if they update something in the future, like a visual attraction, uh, then maybe people start wandering around over there. But for now, uh, we'll just do this fake path. Like they do have the natural path pieces, so we could try that in the future. Now we're just decorating the area, trying to stop myself from just throwing bushes everywhere, realizing it's okay to have a little bit of. Uh, grass just out and about and then I do like those rose bushes I mentioned that in the past so we're trying to use them a little more as well as put a little bit of a pattern out and around what was I doing there okay yeah and then we did the same trick we did in last episode on the entrance building which is just replace those with the floor uh, those those stone floors because I do like that texture tossing in some lights all and around the place moving those back some more because they're still glitching through it's so annoying there we are. Okay, and that is the new layout of the park from the top. Got a decent amount of progress done now. Gonna do a quick fly through. Give you guys the first person look through here. So imagine, this is a very short person. This is like from a child's point of view. But come around here, imagine some performers up on the stage. We do have those animatronic pirates. I may just throw them up there. Uh, just because they are putting on a little bit of a show. Technically don't fit with the theme, but could be good. Or we could put like the animatronic, animatronic uh, Brits up there, but that wouldn't really be with the theme either. Hopefully uh, when they add the fairy tale stuff soon, that'd be cool. We could definitely use a lot here, but look at these little houses. They came up pretty cool. Little stone houses, little little creature houses all hanging out. But I'm pretty happy with how this came out. I had a ton of fun building this one. Uh, definitely let me know what you guys think. If you have any thoughts or concerns, leave a like if you did enjoy. And if you want to see some more Planet Coaster in the future, I'll see you next time. Bye.